This is a walk cycle tutorial for uh, beginners. Um, I'm using this in reference to Selgin's uh, technique and uh, Funk's My Names. And um, I've imported Dexter here. And I've already turned off all of the bone constraints. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Uh, I've made these four boxes. Um, they're just as reference points. Um, so I'm going to put Dexter in a, an extreme position for walking. Just kind of a up, upside down V shape. And actually I'm using these boxes to line up the bottom and side of his hands because I want them in kind of the same positions walking back and forth. So, um, and I'm also going to move Dexter down to the floor. So he's touching the bottom right there. And weight bones. Bottom and side, bottom and side. Okay, I'm gonna go to frame 13. Make the other extreme. Stand there. There. Bottom and side, bottom and side. Touching the floor, touching the floor. Um, these legs aren't the same length, so it doesn't fit perfect, but I'm just making sure he touches the floor at least. Um, now I'm going to select the first frames, copy and paste them to the 25th. So we have a little switch movement. Like that. And then I'm going to go to frame one again. And uh, translate the hip. So I'm going to click there to make a start frame. Go to frame 7. Hold shift down and lift him straight up so he's touching the floor again. I'm going to select the first two frames uh, of the translate that I just did. Copy, paste to uh, frame 13, paste to frame 25, and get rid of this extra one on the end. So now we have a good walking motion. Then the last thing, uh, you'll notice the front leg is the first one to move forward, so back on frame 7, grab the uh, Manipulate Bones tool, just give his knee a bend forward, and the same thing for the back leg on frame 19. Bend it. And then last thing, select all the uh, last frames on 25, and hit Cycle. Okay. And you have a basic walk frame, or walk cycle. Uh, let's hide the reference. And like I said, the reason I use the um, uh, reference boxes is just so the hand positions and the leg positions are kind of in the same place. It's not as perfect as uh, Selgin's technique, or Funk's My Names. Um, they use bone locking for the feet, which is really great because then you can do all kinds of great stuff with your uh, the body movement but this is kind of just a more basic tutorial of a walk cycle um, and I give all credit to both those guys this is just something I was messing around with um, and it it works pretty well um, the other thing you can do is if you go to frame one let's turn on the uh, you can do slight variations on this go to frame one let's make his arms straight just so you can kind of see. Um, now that I've made his arm straight, select the first few frames, copy, paste them to the last. Then you have a slightly different walk cycle by just changing those. Oops, got to put a cycle on it. Oh, I should probably change these. Middle frame, frame 13. Now, there you go. So. That's it. I hope you guys liked it.